everyone. Um, happy Sunday. Hope everybody's having a good day. Um, we on the East Coast are getting snow, sleet, freezing rain, anything that you want to say right now. It's all happening. I don't even know how much snow is out there because I haven't measured it. I moved in 2020 to get off the hill I lived on and the private road I lived on. Because uh, when it snowed, we had to shovel in front of our houses. Um, I was toward the bottom of the hill, so everybody knew when they got to my house that the road would be shoveled and they could stop and start over again. And I got tired of dealing with it. Had to shovel my driveway because it was shaded. So when, even when the sun came out, it didn't melt unless you helped it along. So um, had to park my car at the bottom of the hill. And walk up and down the hill. If I parked it at the bottom, I'm afraid someone would slide into it or break into it or tow it away. So I was always up and down during the night, during the day when it, when I was home, making sure it didn't get damaged. And so obviously I didn't sleep a lot. Um, so I moved to this house and it has flat ground. So in other words, I don't plan on shoveling anything. I've got a forerunner, so. It ought to make it through the driveway. So I'm not planning on doing, other than at the end of the driveway, there's a culvert and I'll probably do that because I'll be the first one in the ditch, not realizing it's there. Um, so when the snow is done, that'll be the only place I shovel just so people know where the culvert is. Um, but I'm kind of enjoying it because I don't have to do anything outside. Um, so anyway, enough of that. So I've been finishing my Valentine's Day cards this weekend because I've got to get them done so I can start packages. And I've got to put names on my bubble gum machines I got from Dollar Tree still. So then I can start packaging everything up to mail them out. Um, I mail them to my nieces and my nephews and to my besties, grandkids. So I got a handful. So, if I remember where things are from, I will let you know. If I forget, then forgive me. Um, first one, that was a doodle bug. That was in my stash. I pulled it out to use it. Same thing with this one. Um, there's another one that was in my stash. I like doodle bug. I haven't bought anything for their, from theirs for a long time, so I need to buy some more because I like their stuff. There's this one. And then this is one that I made that was in my stash, but this is a Dollar Tree. I think it's a heart. I know the stickers for Dollar Tree. It's one of the first ones I made when I started making cards, but I love the frog, so that's going in the mail. Um, this one I made. The, most of them are not stamped on the inside. I still got to do that. This paper is from Echo Parks Cupid & Co. The little hearts, it's a, like a lattice thing. I just stuck the hearts in it. Those are from, the hearts are from Hobby Lobby. Here's another doodle bug. I didn't make all these yesterday and today. I've been piddling on them but I had to get them done and I figured while it was snowing I would work on them to get them done. I think that's all the doodle bug. And then I've got this Cupid and Co. Flowers or Anna Griffin. This one I think the papers from Hobby Lobby. This background is Bo Bunny. This sticker back here is Michael's. This is Pebbles. And the stickers are from Hobby Lobby. So I have a combination of, whoops, combination of stuff on that card. This one, the squares are pebbles. This heart, this heart, and these hearts are Hobby Lobby. The die is from Whimsy, and the paper, the foil paper is Anna Griffin. The background is just what I had in my stash. And I popped up the little squares is what I did because the squares cut out and I just put those little cards on there then I popped up the squares in the middle. 
And then this had hearts in the middle and I just changed it to the puffies. There's this one. Oh, uh, this card base is an Ana Griffin one I just hauled the other day. All these little hearts are from Hobby Lobby. The XO die is from Chaos Craft. I just, I just hauled the other day. This embossing folder foiled. The paper is Anna Griffin. The embossing folder is Anna Griffin. And then this big piece of red foil is Anna Griffin too. I used it from something. Oh, it cut out of the middle of that card. And I just used it to finish it. And then the gold paper and the vellum is Anna Griffin as well. This one is all Anna card base. This was a new dice that I just hauled. Um, the B mine, I had cut a long time ago. It was just in my stash. It's Anna Griffin too, and so are the flowers. They were just some, from some boxes of flowers. This vellum back here in the foil is Anna Griffin. So it is all Miss Anna. Then I've got this one. Uh, the card base is Anna. The embossing folder was from Anna. And all these little hearts are Hobby Lobby. This is Dollar Tree. And this was a tag from Michael's. It had a spot here with an eye that you could put string through, but I just cut it off. This is a shaker card. Sorry, I was trying to shake it, but I guess it's not going to do too well, so I'm not going to shake it anymore. Uh, this die is Pink Fresh. This paper is Cupid & Co. Parks Hobby Lobby. Uh, the foil papers, Anna, and I just put shaker bits in there from, I think they were from Tonic. So there's that. And then the last one is another shaker card. Paper is from Echo Park. The red hearts are from Hobby Lobby, and then this heart is, Aunt, or is Michael's, and then I put shaker bits in the middle of that too from tonic so that is my card share my project shares whatever you want to call it now i've got to stamp all the insides of them so anyway appreciate you watching and appreciate the support and i will catch you in the next video thanks for watching